Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Album. Here is how to make a Roblox game step by step. Number one, creating an account. Creating an account is the very first step for anyone wanting to build their own Roblox world. Begin with opening roblox.com in your preferred browser, and then creating a character by filling out the following info. Birthday, select the month, day, and year of your creator's birthday. According to Laura, the Director of Community Safety and Digital Civility at Roblox, then putting the accurate date of birth is important as the strictness of features like text chat will be adjusted based on age. Username. Here, create a username or screen name that others will know your character by. Another safety precaution, don't use anything close to a real name here. This should be an entirely fictional moniker, as it will be visible to other account holders. Password. Add a password just as you would with other website logins. Again, take the password seriously and stay away from way too easy to guess combinations of 123456, password123, and the like. After, click sign up. Number 2, Installing Roblox Studio Once the account has been created, you'll be automatically logged into Roblox and now ready to download and install Roblox Studio. Again, this is a guide for parents. Kids should never download anything without parental permission. Click Create at the top of the screen. Once the page loads, click Start Creating. You'll see a prompt to download Studio. Click it. Once the Studio downloads, open it and run the program. When installed, you'll be asked to log in once again. Number 3, Viewing Game Examples with the basics out of the way, it might be useful to pause and check out a few different types of games that can be created with Roblox Studio. Survival Game Natural Disaster Survival is a game where 20 players get together and try to survive a number of different types of natural disasters. In this type of game, players are not to get each other, so the only way to lose is by way of a part breaking free and flying around the arena. Hide and Seek Games Hide and Seek Games work just like they do in real life. Players hide throughout the world and one person must search and find them. Tycoon Games Tycoon Games are one of the few single player type games in the Roblox community. The goal of Tycoon Games is to open any kind of store, restaurant, theme park, etc. and then try to grow the business. In this game, players can become restaurant millionaires by successfully serving customers food. Happy customers means more money with which builders can expand their business, hire workers, get more tables, and even open a second restaurant. Number 4, Building an Obstacle Course All that said, the first game that one will probably create is an obstacle course, or obby. An obby is a game where the player must navigate many different obstacles and mazes to make it to the finish line in a timely manner. To get started, open the editor. Once the editor is open, you'll see and start with a base plate, which is a basic starting template used to build a project. Navigate in the editor. Before an obstacle is built, it's valuable to get familiar with how to fly around this brand new world. Here is a breakdown of what each button will allow players to do. W, move forward. S, move backward. A, move left. D, move right. E, move up. Q, move down. Inserting and moving apart. Obstacle courses are made up of many different parts, which are physical objects that can be inserted into a level. To go about doing so, look towards the top of the screen and locate the part icon. For this example, we'll select the block part. Once clicked, you can now drag your part around the editor, and if you make it larger or smaller, or even have it face another direction, you can utilize the scale or rotate buttons. Both actions function similarly to what you've probably experienced in other programs. For instance, with the scale option, offering different draggable dots in your part that can be used to extend or shrink it. Scaling a part in Roblox. Anchoring parts. A key feature of most obbies is a floatable part, that is, a part that isn't affected by gravity and thus suspended in the air. You can anchor the part from the properties menu. To access, click your block and look to the bottom right corner of the screen. Here you'll see your part properties and will be able to check the box next to the anchored in order to implement the behavior. Building the first steps. With a block anchored, more than can be added in the same manner in order to create steps. For example, add two more blocks to the level. Scale the new blocks and match the existing block. Position all the blocks to gradually get higher than the previous. Make sure all blocks are anchored. Number five, testing the game. While we've only touched on creating a few basics with this new game, it's important to stop and test each iteration to ensure players are capable of making the newly created jumps and that blocks are appropriately sized and placed. To enter play mode and test, click the play button on the menu at the top of the screen. Once the player appears, use the keys to move and spacebar to jump. Guide the player across each block to make sure all jumps are possible. The quickest way to make a game nobody wants to play is to make it impossible to progress through. Once done testing, click stop to exit and enter to the editor. Roblox testing jumping blocks. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch a few videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next.